We're starting over. What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. I'm John the Potter and I am super excited about this video today. Okay, we're not completely starting over, but we are testing out some new glazes. I have been thinking about doing this for a long time because for the past like six, seven years, I've kind of gotten in the same habit of using like the same bug down here. The same like four or five glazes and the same kind of combos and I always think like I should just try and have like a bunch more glazes. So I went to my friends at Continental Clay, shout out to Continental Clay and said hey I want to try out a bunch of your cone five, cone six glazes and test like a ton of different combinations of them and then I'll make a bunch of videos about it and then I'll give all the combos away to people so that if they want to try out the combos themselves then they can go to Continental Clay and buy the glazes. So Continental Clay was super sweet. They said, yeah, let's do it. Let's get you some new glazes. So, we got five pounds of a bunch of their glazes. So I've gone back and forth a lot about, because one of the most common questions from people is, do you mix your own glazes? And there's this little like, there's this little tone of like, if you don't mix your own glazes, then you're not that good of a potter. And to that I say, that's ridiculous. That's dumb. If you don't wanna mix your own glazes, like there's so many parts to the pottery process. The throwing, you know, the wheel throwing, to the trimming, to the glazing, to the firing, to the, like if you don't wanna mess with the chemistry, of like knowing how all the different elements and how everything in the powders work together. If you don't want to mess with that and you just want to buy commercial glazes, I say just buy commercial glazes. That doesn't make you any less of a potter. If you want to get into the chemistry aspect of it and mix your own glazes and know all this stuff, that's great. But that's like, I don't, I just don't want to waste my time with that. I don't want to waste my time learning it. So I'm going to, I want to, what I want to spend my time on is testing how different commercial glazes react to each other when they're layered on top of each other. That's what I want to do. Does that make me any less of a potter? Uh, no, it does not. I don't think so. So that's what I have to say about the matter. It took me a little while to really come to grips with that and to say like, you know what, I, I'm not going to mix my own. I'm just going to go in a little bit here. I'm not gonna mix my own. I'm going to, I'm gonna embrace the fact that I love just layering different glazes, commercial glazes on top of each other and to see what the results are. There's plenty to do and test and experiment with that without having to figure out how to mix all your own. What do we got? Caramel cream, Fiesta blue, nutmeg, rogue red, luster green, high gloss white, new Albany brown, satin matte white, French mustard, graphite black, walnut brown, retro blue green, ooh that sounds cool, denim, and twilight blue, sandstone. This is like gonna be a lot of work to just even set this all up. So we got a bunch of buckets. We are gonna mix one pint of water to one pound of glaze. So each of these is five pounds. So we will mix five pints of water for each one of these. And then we'll cut out the label and stick it onto the, oh, so we got all of our buckets right here. Very, 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 very important whenever you're mixing glazes or mixing any dry pottery material to wear a mask. Wear a mask. That's, that's not smart. The airborne glazed particles are very dangerous to breathe in. So, wear a mask. I probably should wear gloves too, but I don't have any, so what are you gonna do? All right, let's do this thing. Oh, oh, the other thing, how do we test? So, I've been making a bunch of these test tiles. So, this is how we're gonna do all of our tests. 
with all these different test tiles. Plus I have a bunch of mugs and cups and shot glasses and stuff. So I don't know, I've never done testing that, like this, of this magnitude with this many different, like the amount of, if we're gonna layer three glazes onto each thing, how many possibilities are there? Like so many. I'm excited, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so fun. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we got our water. So two and a half quarts of water is equal to five pints. So we're gonna fill these guys up with the water. First, we're gonna put the glaze powder into these buckets, and I gotta go get some tape. Oh, this is uh, a little harder than I expected. What I'm doing is cutting out the labels and putting them on the outside of the container so nothing gets mixed up. So we got our first five done. So I stirred them all up. And now we're gonna just put covers on them, move them, let them sit overnight, and then we're gonna start doing a bunch of test glazes. Oh, but first we're gonna do all the rest of them too. All right, let's do it. got all the glazes just about ready to go. All the ones back there are good to go. These ones just need to be stirred up a little bit more. That's gonna be it. So basically, this is how, if you buy dry glazes, you mix. These continental clay glazes are all for sale on their website, continentalclay.com. I don't know why you would go buy them yet, as I haven't shown you what any of them look like. But. Hopefully once we start doing some testing, some glazing, after the couple of videos of some kiln unloading. So we're gonna let these sit overnight because when you mix them up right away, they kind of separate a lot and then once you can mix them up again, it just takes like 24 hours for the glaze to really adhere. But then we're gonna start testing stuff, we're gonna start glazing and it's gonna be oh, so good. I'm so excited to get a bunch more combos and to share all the combos with you gonna be sweet what do you think I would love your suggestions if you guys have any thoughts like things that you think would look really good together I'd love for you to leave them in the comments below I'm gonna list all the glazes that we have for options right here yeah let me know what you think I'll I got lots of test tiles lots of things to test key things to think think about when you're mixing glazes is keep that water to dry mix ratio consistent, so like these all say one pound of glaze to one pint of water. So I had five pints to each bag, because each bag was five pounds and that makes a gallon. Yeah, when you mix a new glaze, make sure that you're always wearing a mask. Bad, I should probably still have this on right now. But I can't talk when I have this on. You can't hear me. As always, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, all the things. Go to the Patreon page if you wanna win some pottery. We'll see you in the next video. So magical. Isn't it so magical? I feel like these are, these are all potions in uh, Professor Severus Snape's potion class.
And they're just like, all we do is we just mix them up and then we like combine them and then we put them into the kiln and they come out and it's magic. So welcome to the school, John the Potter's School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. John the Potter's potions class of witchcraft and wizardry. John the Potter's a master's in potions. All right, we'll keep working on that. 